Today, we're learning how to match a fraction to a model. Let's start by finding which of these models represents one-fourth. In a fraction, the denominator, or bottom number, represents how many pieces are in the entire whole. So we need a model that has four total pieces in it. This circle only has one, two, three pieces, so it can't be the correct model. However, both of the other models have four total pieces. The next thing we can look at is the numerator. This tells us the number of pieces we have, which means the number of shaded pieces. We need to find a model that has one shaded piece. This model has one shaded piece, so this is correct. The other model has two pieces shaded. That means it can't be this one. So here we have our answer. This model represents the fraction 1 fourth. Now let's do some of these together. Let's find out which of these models represents 2 thirds. The first thing I'm going to look at is the denominator, which is a 3. What does this mean? This means that our model will have a total of 3 pieces. Which of these models have 3 pieces in them? We can see that the first model has 3 pieces, this next model also has three pieces. However, this last model has one, two, three, four, five total pieces. So it can't be this last model. The next thing we can look at is the numerator, which is two. What does a numerator of two mean? It means we have two pieces or two pieces that are shaded. Which model has two shaded pieces? We can see this first model has two shaded pieces. This model is correct. But the circle only has one shaded piece, so it can't be correct. That means this is the only model that shows two-thirds. Let's practice with another problem. Which of these models shows one-fifth? Before I even look at the fraction, I can immediately see that this model can't be the correct answer. Why is this model definitely not correct? Remember that each piece of a fraction must be the same size. The pieces in this model are all different sizes, so this doesn't show one-fifth, it can't be the correct model. Now in the rest of these models, what should we look for first? We see the denominator of our fraction is 5, which means our model must have 5 total pieces. We can look for that and see that these two models have five total pieces, but this one only has four, so it can't be this model. Now, which of these models shows one-fifth? The first model has three shaded pieces, so it isn't this model, but this model has only one shaded piece, so this is the model that correctly shows one-fifth. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Which of these models shows the fraction 3 fourths? We have fourths, so we first can look for models that have four total pieces. This last model doesn't have four pieces, so it can't be correct. But all the rest of them do have four pieces. After that, we need to find which model has three shaded pieces. This circle has one, two shaded pieces, so it can't be this circle. Then we can see that both of these two models have three shaded pieces. But in this model, the parts are not all equal, so this can't be correct. The only correct model is this one. Now here is your last problem for this video. Which of these models shows one-sixth? We can first look for models that have six pieces. We see this model has four pieces, and this one has five so neither of those can be correct. While the remaining models have six pieces, we can immediately cross off this model, because all of the pieces are not the same size. That means this model is the only one that can be correct. And we can in fact see that one piece out of six is shaded. Great, now you know how to match a fraction to a model.